the 1940s yep that's how old the tech that you're about to use with your current sound system is to connect your tv stereo receiver projector and dvd players are among some of the examples the old tech that i'm talking about is the rca cable it's a cable for left and right sound. We'll see how pairing it with an aux cable makes it super useful. And by the time we're done here, you'll know so much more about basic audio connections. Welcome to Simple Cafe Sound, sub for tutorials short and sweet. Okay, let's go explore a bunch of ways you can use this cable. If you don't have one, find yours in the description. First, we're gonna look at video players that you can connect to, and then audio only players at this part of the video. Starting with what I think you're most curious about is connecting your TV. Sure, you probably saw RCA plugs on the back, but you're not in the clear just yet. Have a second look and make sure that you have a pair that's marked audio out. Out is the key because we're trying to get audio from the TV out to an external speaker. If you find them, now you can connect the other side of your cable to a speaker with an aux input. Now this video is a basic look into all the things you can connect with this cable. Check out this video here if you want a full step guide to connect your TV. Anyway, once you're connected, you're set for more immersive TV experiences. Another display would be a projector. And since they don't typically have internal speakers, they're probably gonna give you a pair of RCA out ports so you can make the connection to your selection of external speakers. For events like a big game, you need big sound. So just like we did with your TV, plug the aux end to your powered speaker. You could also connect a portable speaker to your DVD player if you'd rather hear the action through your sound system rather than your TV. Just remove the red and white ones from your DVD player and plug this set in from your speaker instead. Now, let's get into how we can use these cables with our media players, which I reckon are going to be portable devices, which are certain to have headphone jacks, right? Well, that's where the aux side of our cable is going to go. And then the other end, well, here's where you may realize that an aux to RCA cable isn't right for you at this time. Because if your speaker has an aux port, well, just use a typical aux cable to connect your device to your speaker. But we're here for aux to RCA cables, so let's stick with that. See, you'd connect from your player to a speaker if that speaker has RCA ports like so. And you'd be ready to enjoy. Or what's more common is that you would connect your device to an amplifier slash receiver. And for that matter, your receiver may have multiple pairs of RCA ports. If there's so many, which one are you supposed to plug into? Well, don't take the names literally. Those are just suggestions. You can plug into any of them as long as it's not marked REC out. That REC out set will instead be used to send audio out to your powered speaker, like one of these with an RCA or aux port. But connecting an active speaker to an amplifier is rather redundant because an active speaker already comes with its own internal amplifier. The conventional setup with these receivers lets you connect multiple, potentially more powerful stationary speakers with this type of cable wire. These speakers can be really great, but they obviously don't work directly with our players which is why receivers come in between the two to, well, receive all types of connections and then amplify and drive the sound out through your loudspeakers. Check out this other video I've already made if you'd like to organize and make sense of all this connection stuff. Now, there may be times when you need a regular RCA to RCA cable to connect to something like a record player with RCA ports and that port may be labeled as line out. This cable will also work on your TV if it has RCA out ports. This setup that we see here is how we can get our TV or record player to play out through our loudspeaker, which is passive and therefore uses this type of wire. If you're feeling a bit unsure about speakers right about now, it'd probably do you a world of good to know that there are two types and I break down the basic differences between the two with this video right up here. If you ever want to give me a boost to say thanks and keep the channel going, you can with a super simple, no commitment way here with YouTube's super thanks button. 
or over at buymeacoffee.com slash simplecafe. Thanks and go make those connections. See you on the next one.